What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Mouse Clicks and Joysticks. I think I got the title right. Episode 8. Um, I'm here with my co-host, Eurostrix. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Too much is going on in the world. I have not seen but that. I'm doing all right. Too much going on in the world. If you want to hear about all the stuff that's going on in the world, you should go check out the Reason Reborn podcast with me and Cardiac Sumo as we talk about how crazy mm. this goddamn world is and all the mm. like, bullshit that goes on. Uh, including this week is going to actually be a two-parter. So Ooh. by the time you see this, you're going to probably see the second part of Reason Reborn come out as we dive into the intricacies of the Spygate conspiracy, as Trump likes to talk about talk about and all the other going on with this yeah, yeah, y'all, can, y'all can have fun with that i'm good i'm not and it's gonna be a fun like fucking three hours i Last just night was we watched the kanye interview today so i'm not, in a particular <laughs> not in a particular <laughs> oh my god kanye kanye uh last night we talked about the n-word that's in retrospect to what happened with kendrick lamar that was a pretty cool discussion so check that out um, I'm assuming y'all agree with the article that the N-word should be removed from rap songs? Uh, and that was the reason why? That situation proves that it should just be removed from all? Well, we didn't really go. We just were like fascinated by how the N-word seems to be this one word because there's other terms. Not to give away the whole thing, but you know, if you think about language... And certain words in culture, some things that are really, really offensive seems to fade, whereas the N-word it seems to never fade, which is just such, this is the weirdest thing. So we got into that and like our theories as to but why. But that's because of hip hop like music. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't agree with that. But I mean, because anyway. There's a lot of stuff. Just watch the goddamn episode, and then we'll probably do another episode on that, because I don't think we even came to a consensus, to be quite honest. It is what it is. Anyway, so what would you like to talk about first in this pretty (laughs) weird new cycle for gaming? Um, We've had some interesting things come about. How Do we want to go with the weirdest story first? The, The Ubisoft thing is like the weirdest thing to me. <laughs> the AI. Yeah, that's just weird. That's yeah. Just... What is it called? Um, Sam. Yeah. Okay. So Ubisoft has announced that they're going to have an AI companion that you can get on your mobile devices. Um, it's supposed to okay. do things like give you tips, tricks, um, stats on how you're doing in their games. You pretty much tie it to your um, Ubisoft Club uh, account, and Sam. Will basically help you. You give it permission to to spy on you, basically. Yeah, he video games takes your stats and he you know lets you know how you're doing. He gives you like, like hey, you want tips? No, I don't need an AI robot telling me how to play a video game better. Leave me alone. You seem to be aiming up and to the left. You should try to aim down and to the right more. Thank you. Cool. It's great. Yeah. Now, as someone who's adopted the AI quote-unquote lifestyle, I guess, since I have an Echo behind Mm -hmm. me, which, by the way, it was weird, because I don't know what word I was saying that was setting her off, but she kept, like, responding. (laughs) I mean, how do you feel soon you won't be able to say anybody's name? Um, no, I think you'll be okay. Uh, As long as they don't need... They're so far, like, I think Ubisoft's the dumbest, because they picked such a common name. I like you got... She can't hear you. My headphones on. <laughs> I, think, I think Alexa is decently common. Siri is out there. Yeah, I think uh, Alexa is decently common. I don't think her name. I, and I'm trying not to say it because if I say it, she's gonna be like, "What do you want?" Well, I gotta stop saying my name. Um, I could just say the name. Hmm? She's gonna perk up. <laughs> and I was talking about. It's funny because I did a unboxing for my spot, and I. Was trying my hardest not to say that woman's name. <laughs> it's like now I'm trying not to mm-hmm. say her name because I don't want to say something. She takes it as command and she starts doing so crazy because she'll play music. She'll play, you know. <laughs> she'll I would, tell I would me. definitely play some like country music for no reason, just because. 
I mean, I could. No, I'm saying if 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 you didn't have your headphones in, I would definitely just be like Alexa. <laughs> uh, By the way, anybody who has an Echo device right now, blame him because he keeps saying her name. The so right. <laughs> Everybody, go ahead and say a command. I bet you somebody who. Is, um, I don't fucking know. Uh, Alexa, play play. Uh, pray for me, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> And she'll do it. A hundred, uh huh. She will do that because I do that all the time. I sit here and tell her to play different songs because one of the tricks to her that this is this is Amazon's way of trying to infiltrate you into other places. So if you do get an Echo device, they mm -hmm. give you three months free of their Music Unlimited program, which means I, that you can request any song in their library. Which is that like reminds me of emailing me to tell me they're gonna get rid of my music that's on Apple Music or on on uh. Amazon right now because of this new program and I'm like, all right, well, fuck you then. You know, they're trying to get everybody to go ahead and jump aboard. Uh, uh. Or you could just not raise my price by ten dollars a year, which sounds inconsequential and it really it's is. Not ten dollars a year. What is it? Twenty. Either way, Amazon Prime starts from one hundred to one. It's not that bad. No, considering the like amount of shit, like it's also a get, year. Like okay. you're, you're complaining about what two more dollars a month? Considering the amount of shit I get from Amazon, yeah, it's like uh, if you only had Amazon for the free two day shipping, I mean, I would tell you to look at Amazon on demand. Like they have decent video, like a decent video library. Uh, and just look at Prime Video. Period. They got some good shows. Period. They got like, uh, good original content. They uh, what else is there? They they got uh, you get free books as a part of the Kindle program. I know people don't read anymore, but I thought I'd say it. Well, yeah, no, they do this now where they give you one free book a month and let you choose from a pool of books for free. Well, yeah, they have a bunch of that, they have a bunch of uh, yeah, they have a bunch of books that you usually. Oh, and now if you shop at Whole Foods, oh, you can get 10% off. Oh yeah, all Audible is yeah, also owned by Amazon Prime, so I, free, yeah. I think you get something from them. Yeah, the Audible thing I think is another thing where you get to you get to rent like a certain from a certain pool of books with Audible for free. Yeah, if Amazon you, if you go to Whole Foods and you got an Amazon Prime account, you use that because you can get ten percent off on your groceries. Boom. Amazon are overlords. I won. I, like as I told Cardiac, I am comfortable. With pledging my loyalty to Lord Bezos, I think I I take Amazon over Google. I'll take I I'll take Amazon over Google. Yes, I feel like Amazon I, has has some of the best customer service out there. By the way, I haven't said her name, and I'm still not. She's cool when she sings or she raps. I, I still can't get over the singing or the rapping uh -huh. part of the thing. Like the bars that she spits. Man. But are they Will Smith quality bars? They better. For those that don't know, Will Smith dropped a new track on uh <laughs> or Wait, are you serious? Track. He teased a new track in his newest YouTube video and then it's also up on Instagram. hundred percent. And it's actually not that bad. He's already he said a, like last year that he was gonna get back into rapping. And he's supposed to do the national anthem for something, I think. Or the he's opening bored. ceremony for something. Is he bored? <laughs> Uh, he's t some some about at his most busy. He was doing a TV show, doing movies, making an album a year, and that leaves you creatively drained. And now he feels he's like taking a break and he's ready to make music again. So, yeah, if you're not already, that's one of those recommendations. One of those. I don't recommend YouTube channel super often. Will Smith's YouTube channel, super good. Interesting. Super good. <laughs> like. I still contend that Alexa might beat him in a battle. I just said her name. <laughs> Say it loud enough. <laughs> You're like, Alexa. <laughs> she didn't oh, hear oh. me. <laughs> I see, let me see. Alexa, how are you today? I'm AI okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was corny, but that's mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, like we were saying, um, AI is integrating your video game soon. Soon you will soon you won't even have to worry about Twitch chat backseating you. Your game will backseat you for it. Yeah. Um, you know your mission is to the left. 
But you know, it's already been integrated because a lot of people forget. Um, like Amazon has been starting to do that now since um, they've started issuing these devices. Destiny 2. And it's funny because I have not tried it yet with Destiny 2 and I need to do that. But you know, it's integrated with Destiny 2. If you have the um, app or you have one of the Echo devices, you can um, have her set up things. Like with Destiny 2, I know I can like say me and you're like, say if I had the PC version of Destiny and I wanted to hook up with you, mm-hmm. I could just tell her to send you an invite or to send you a message. And she'll send you a message in games like, like yo, Black mm-hmm. wants to play with you right now. Mm-hmm. And, or like you could tell her to drop in, like you want to drop in on like call like a specific fire team that you have set up. So to hit up like those people on that list and things like that. You know, she gives lore and stuff like that. She works like a ghost. I'm, I'm um, yeah. I but don't, it's I like, don't need, like one thing is I always feel like AI is really cool. It's super useful. I feel like we're getting too comfortable with AI doing the most the basic of things. Like it's it's you're, you're talking about like a few button presses to find somebody on your list, but you don't have to stop playing the game. It's like uh, well, yeah, but I mean I think it's just like it's like novelty stuff that it's okay to have. I don't think you should depend on it, but it's like okay with Detroit, the Echo devices will give you background information on the world. The stuff that you walk around like if you've played the demo i haven't tried it yet myself but i watched somebody try the demo and they would ask her questions about the background and you know the police department and the company that makes the ai and stuff like that and she asked see, that's creepy and that's she was like that's just creepy yeah that's like those games that say that they like use the mic your mic and like to detect noise around you when you're supposed to be like like that type of stuff always like don't you don't need to be more immersive video games especially if i'm not playing like in vr i don't need you like checking to see some game was rumored to like detect if you had your light on or something like that so you'd be more noticeable in, like a dark i'm like shit like that i'm like don't <laughs> don't just let it go yeah, like I know some people who are worried about the PlayStation camera because it could be used for certain in certain games and certain ways. By the way, fuck until dawn. <laughs> Literally a game where like when they tell you not to move, they rumble the controller and you're literally supposed to not move. Like the controller. Not the control sticks, but the controller. But I mean, game is, uh, I love it. It's just frustrating. But that's innovation. That's the way we're going. We're going to these states where you're going to have these more interactive set pieces in games. Um, uh, it's not going to probably be the main feature, but it's nice to know that you can like have a different experience with that stuff. Um, do I think it's going to be like the overall, like this Sam thing? But I think at the end of the day, it's going to be the overall be- end all of you know gaming. No, but I don't blame Ubisoft for getting into it because it is something that a lot of people will find kind of cool to do. Um, yeah, I would rather if, if this was to be a thing to be a more overarching thing done by, say, Sony or Microsoft, like rather than just individual developers. You know what I mean? It would make more sense to me. Yeah, I completely understand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's all right. Yeah, it's but yeah, all so right. you're gonna use Sam. So next uh, time, you're, you're, I don't you're, even you're gonna use be like Ubisoft a, Club. You're gonna like. You're gonna be playing Assassin's Creed and like, what's this building? This building was the church of the blah 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 from 1874. And I don't even use Ubisoft Club. <laughs> Basically, like, that's why your Uplay is broken, and I can't send you a friend request. See, this is what the problem is. Yeah, because I barely use it. <laughs> you absolutely don't. I, I can't remember the last time I've like I don't even have it on my computer right now. I just thought nah, about that. You should. Yeah, I I guess I should. It, and it's funny because we've gone from the worry of having all the, these sign up things for you know stuff like you play and for um origin and all of that. That was the worry. Now we're in this phase where like now everything's gonna talk back to us. I have this, yeah. That's I had this conversation because it was like Black Ops is coming to to 
Battle.net. Everybody was like, well, why isn't it just on Steam? I'm like, because nobody wants to give up control of their properties. People don't remember that. That's how, that's how Steam got. What did Gaben do with Steam? Hey, you want Half-Life 2? Download my platform. Yeah. Use my platform. Games convince people to use things. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like it'll be cool, but I wonder what its uses are going to be ultimately. Yeah, like, is it going to go beyond just the novelty of like, oh, hey, you're gotta like, I wouldn't want it because I don't need nobody to tell me I have like an 0.5 like KD. I'm good. Yeah, I know I'm like, crack. Thank you just, for reminding me of gonna that. Be, it's going to be the troll thing. Like somebody walks in your house and is like, hey, Sam, what was my KD last game? And Sam was like, ah. Oh. 0.5 here's some tips to get better and you're like all right like sam shut up and like it's just like somebody just wants to heckle you about it now sam will get extra points if he does troll though if he'd be like you know why you suck no i, <laughs> will so break, I would break whatever device <laughs> on. i have enough of that from the internet that i don't don't like you know like Sam, what did you think of that match? GG, motherfucker, get good. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that would be hilarious if it's like some shit new like that. Wow. No, I'm not okay with that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not at all okay with that. Get your skill up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But this is interesting. I mean, kudos to you, Ubisoft. At least you're trying some stuff. I mean, hey, that's a good thing about Ubisoft is that they try things. Don't don't give them um, credit. Now, what you need to try harder at is putting out fucking Beyond Good and Evil two. And stop like E3, working no. on shit like Deep Two or The Crew Two that ain't nobody trying to see. E three is in a month. It is less than a month, sir. Um, today's the twenty third. Three is in a period of time beyond today. Um, let me look at my calendar because I want to say it's two and a half weeks. To be that quite honest, it not be that soon. <laughs> yeah, it is really that soon. Um, let's see. Looking at the old calendar here. Uh, by the way, Windows Ten. Why do you make it so complicated to get to Windows Ten? Is so calendar? what do you mean? Jesus, it's easy. It's like getting like like you're what? just jumping through hoops to easy. get to the calendar. Uh, yeah, two and a half weeks. All right, well, you got that. Hey, it's still fucking E three because yeah, you Sunday the tenth. It technically starts it off, and we've got. Hey, yeah, you got you got that. Jeez. But uh, overall, I think that. Um, Overall, I think that it's 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 an interesting development. I think I wonder how many other people are. I don't need 18 different personal assistants. All right. Please, like, allow us to integrate other personal assistants in. I'm good with, you know, with who I have. In fact, let me actually say her name just to show my appreciation. Alexa, you're the greatest. Ha. I'm not sure. She just said she's not sure. It's fine. You'll nah, be fine. Don't be humble. That's a humble brag. That's a humble brag. Um, but yeah. Yeah, especially since when I asked you to rap, you t- called everybody else sucker AIs. Like, don't show who is the hum- hum- don't be humble and be you be know humble. showing humility right now. Bitch, be humble. I actually wish she would like curse and see that. No, that should have been that should have been her hook for us all. No. Like turn off. No. 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 <laughs> don't, I don't need I don't need uh anything like nah, we're good. Um do you, I mean so since we're talking about themes that are not physical at all. How about we talk about something that is completely physical like money? Yeah. Money's good. I and guess. how much absurd Money is being invested by certain companies into their game. 
You mean like Epic, who got damn came up this week and made an announcement that they're investing a hundred million, not a hundred thousand, not a million, a hundred million dollars into the esports scene for Fortnite. Look, I'm not gonna lie, like you have that everybody has that moment, like, can I get good enough? Can I get good enough to to play? Like in all the hype that PUBG had when it first started, it's like rocket upwards. They were this bold. Epic is just like, yo, we got this. I'm trying to find this picture. I saw a picture where somebody did like the math. And if you combine 16 other games, it is what? It is only. 16 other esports, it is like a hundred thousand less than those uh than those is total. It's like ridiculous when you see actually how much they're investing compared to other games. Like a lot of the other ones max out like 13 million. Like some of them have a hundred some odd million, maybe, but it's not I th- I'm trying to find this photo now. It's ridiculous how much a hundred million dollars. Makes me wonder how much have they been making off this damn uh, free I think, thing. I think it was reported. Again, I can't remember. I got. I'm trying to think of the source off the top of my head. Uh, but it was reported that in May of this year, I think that it was 200 million was the the for the month of May was how much they made. Which, if it's true, and if I, I'm trying to remember what the fucking you see. Um, I don't remember what the word is. But yeah, it's it's uh it's uh, two hundred million. So they're basically saying half of that. If you're making that much a month, you can throw. Like there's rumors like in the first three weeks on on iOS, Fortnite made fifteen million stuff like that. That's ridiculous. Like they're making money hand over fist. That's a fucking like mobile version. That's but even with the, I mean, but all of them are integrated together, right? And I'm just like my thing is, I don't know. it's one thing when you say like you're gonna invest a bunch of money, but a hundred million for the first season. And now I believe. Let me pull up the article just to confirm. I believe um, it's for different prize pools, right? It's not like ultimately there's a hundred million on the line. It's a hundred million across multiple tournaments Ooh. and different like prize pools that you can get make. Holy shit! And so that's gonna be like that's the ridiculous thing to me. It's still like if there's a circuit that you can make a hundred million dollars off of, you're talking that's where you can have tournaments that are like. A million dollars. You could have one hundred one million dollar tournaments, which would be the ability to make if you had two a week, roughly a little bit under two a week. That's just insane. Be able to make two million a week every week for the year, basically. It's a little bit less than that. It's very approximate and rough, but the idea that's even possible to say. You could actually do more than a a million dollar tournament a week and still only spend half the money. That's insanity. Hey, oh yeah, what's the in tournament? Oh yeah, the in tournament for Fortnite, the championships would be like one hundred fifty million. All of a sudden, you're like, wait, these dudes are playing for one hundred and fifty million. You know, that's the the thing that's that amazes me is that I don't think Fortnite is a game you honestly can. Make like that successful when it comes to e sports. It's not. I, th- I think that's one of those things that it works because it's it's only because of how do I say this? It's only because of like this general size, like or the the general high end. Like Fortnite has an incredible skill ceiling, and most BRs do. And when you get to that point, it becomes a very different game. But it's a battle royale. I don't think battle royale games are squads. Squads would not be a thing. Yeah, it 
This is weird. So you say that. I don't know. It's weird because I don't, again, I don't think Battle Royale games are um, perfectly fitted for esports. But it's gonna work. I mean, shit. Well, no, I'm about to say what's per what's the what's the. I mean, it's it's basically squad. It's like I think a lot of people look at it as like the randomness no, is what mex messes it up, no, right? He, is that yeah. what? Okay, yeah, because it's it's so much of a luck of the draw thing in the beginning. And then uh, as you start to whittle down, it gets a little bit more. But even then, when you whittle it down to the better players, it still can be considered like a luck of the draw type of situation in my mind. How many of the top? Uh, how many top Fortnite players do you watch? Um, I mean, I've seen Ninja, of course, mm -hmm. Dr. Lupo. Uh, what's the name of the guy? I've, I've seen the people they associate with, like Myth, yeah. um, King Richard. Uh, CD, uh, I forget his old name, but him. I, it's really weird to say, like, there were a couple of times a little bit ago where, when I think private matches were a thing, that like a lot of the competitive teams, so like TSM has a team, um, they currently, I think, of competitive teams have the biggest streamer because I don't think anybody else is as big as Myth in terms of number. I mean, beyond Ninja, but I mean, on a competitive team, yeah, um. But then FaZe has a team. Like, a bunch of people have teams. Uh, like, known organizations. And they ran some main matches, and it becomes super exciting. It's a, it's a, generally, I'm not, I can't remember how PUBG does their tournaments, but the tournaments are done in a kind of a weird way, where it's kind of like you, you play continuously, like a bunch of matches, and you accrue points. So it's this yeah, idea. I remember the PUBG tournament. It was like they set it off in, like, different categories, and you're you carry like a certain amount of points between this um however many matches that they have you which play. so it's the idea of like ultimately if you play enough your team the best you team should come mid, out on top, top or um i think it'll be all right though i i think it has a good enough format and there's a yeah. obviously a, a fan base there yeah. fortnite i still say has the element of building which helps it PUBG is just fortnite. straight up shooting um yeah, and trust me, there are far less game worse and non competitive games that have well, uh, esports and it make uh, it, it. I think it'll work, and I think it makes a decent amount of sense. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, a lot of things have been said that it couldn't be done. I mean, shit, esports itself said it couldn't be done, and yet look at some of the things that are like huge esport games, like. For me, Dota doesn't do it, but d goddamn, what the fuck, the international, what international do you mean mobiles are lit. As I was saying, Dota doesn't do Don't it, for me, but the international, see, it's like this huge phenomenon that people come all the way from all corners of the world, not just to play, but just to see. <laughs> it's know. fucking amazing. So it's, it's like. All, like like the idea is that esports is a legitimate like it is approaching sports level with especially with things like Overwatch League. It's approaching sports level of like fandom. You have your team from your city. The amount of people I know from Boston, they're like, shout out to the Boston Uprising. I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all can y'all can calm down. Yeah, it's it, it's 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 like I've never thought I'd like see this day, um, being like my age, knowing where how people used to view gaming, and now all of a sudden like this weird, crazy mainstream, okay. um, okay. yeah, Hold on. phenomenon that we have now. You got all these celebrities, like, um, well, I guess this is a perfect segue. To one of the other topics, like, um, did you see the Battlefield Five reveal? Did you watch the show? Or you just watch the chat. I Dude. I tuned into the show and it was a lot of talking, and I was just like, I kind of just want to see. Hey guys, I heard yeah. them say World War Two, hey, and we're still in hey, World Botland. War Two, and then I was like, all right, I'll just wait for gameplay. Botland, we fight, we fight. I yeah, yeah, I can't. 
Yeah, but no, I was weirded out when it first got to the beginning because I was like, wait, that fucking Trevor Noah? Why you got the fuck is Trevor Noah doing here? Why you got what's wrong with Trevor Noah, sir? Nothing, but it's like I wasn't expecting Trevor Noah. I love Trevor Noah. I think Trevor Noah is great. But I was just like, wait. He played Battlefield. Fuck, I know he plays Battlefield. Shit. I don't see him. Tw- Every, I mean, everybody's a gamer now. You gotta remember that. Yeah, and that's uh, that's why I was saying like it's just weird to see this now. How this um, whole phenomenon where every it used to be we were the shed ins, we were the people that you got you know you got your best jokes in on and what now and now you got motherfucking Snoop Dogg complaining about shit and like <laughs> you know when it comes to gaming. You got the Big Show. Like acting like a big kid over well, Destiny. You remember, you remember about, yeah, you remember back when yeah. Destiny One came out. All the NBA players they were like, yeah, I gotta get my my nightly my 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 weekly stuff in. And yeah, no. do- funny shit. Did you see the Ben Simmons um video no. about PUBG? No. He was playing with another NBA player. Um, I forget what team that guy played on, but he was playing with another like fellow player from another team and there's a video of him like they're talking and he's like well we just need to like run this back one more time because we're trying to get that w he was like nah i'm i think i should go because we got a game in the morning and whatnot and he was like no man come on you don't need to like get ready for the game and it was really fucked up because the game that the guy had to play against was against a sorry team. So when he told Ben Simmons, like, yeah, this is the team we're playing, he was like, we can play four more. You don't need to sleep to play them. <laughs> like, like, damn. That probably got him in some trouble, though. That nah, guy. I mean, the other team got mad, but they could beat them when they played them. <laughs> so it didn't make a difference. Wow. They like, they actually, this dude's team actually won. So it was like Ben Simmons was kind of right. You need to get enough sleep to beat y'all. Like, Wow. Rolled, yeah, they actually rolled that team by 20 the next day. So, <laughs> like, that's just disrespectful as fuck. But it's it's not just like, like the Ninja thing. I mean, it's weird to see Ninja play with all these celebrities, but it's just all these celebrities are really into these. Things. So, all right. So not to turn it back to Fortnite, but you saw the Epic's other post, right? Mm-mm. They announced some of the teams for the uh, crossover at E3. For the the fifty duo, so at the uh, at E three, there's going to be a celebrity pro am for Fortnite. So some of the examples they listed five different teams. Uh, Ninja's playing with Marshmello. Myth is uh, teaming up with Paul George. Pokemon's with Designer. Markiplier's with uh, Joe McHale. McHale. Wow. And, uh, uh, Gotga is with Demetrius Johnson. And like those are just five of 50 teams where there's a prominent player and a uh, a prominent pro and a celebrity. And what is it? Uh, they're playing for three million in charity money to the charity of their choice. Um, That's crazy. Uh, the winning duo will also receive a hundred million in charity to split. But no, that just goes so it's just like that year where they had Snoop and all of them playing Battlefield and stuff. It's like gaming has transcended from where it was. It is it's oh, the and- next hip hop. It's like when hip hop was like, oh, this is just a inner yeah. city thing to where it went to and rock music went from just like crazy kids and this loud noise to yep. where it's like, you know. I was gonna also say to you, by the way, they also clarify in the article the five million they're talking about for this event. It's not a part of the hundred million. <laughs> That's just wow. That's yeah, just to be like, yo, we can flex and drop five million in charity, and we still drink, giving out a hundred million. This don't count. It's okay. That's kind of ridiculous to me. That's wild. It's a- <sighs> yeah, but no, it's just where it's at now. Um, geez, but no, oh, going back to Battlefield Five. So they revealed Battlefield Five yeah. today. Wasn't necessarily a big reveal. One, I have a couple of issues. Trevor Noah wasn't my issue. I was just shocked. Oh, to see no, I like Trevor Noah. Um, he was funny. I, I don't blame him for the setup because that wasn't his choice. They asked him to do it, and yeah. he's a fan of the game, so he probably was like, "Well, fuck yeah, I'll 
fucking do this shit. You gonna pay me to talk about some shit I like to do? <laughs> Give me my money. Consider it done. You know what I mean? I'm with somebody. Somebody's like, yeah, hey, we'll pay you to talk about video games. I'm like, all right, where do I need to be and when? Yeah, exactly. Like, um, that's a hard choice to make in life, but I think I could tough that one out, sir. Like, you yeah. say that until you get hit up by a game house black to sell one of those uh, search and find the object games. Well, I would hope that if I were someone who was on a list to be paid to play games, I would have the integrity to only go for shit that I really want to be a part of and not just do shit just to do shit. So like are, are we not going to talk about what's happened to D3 before? Like, yes, yeah, I definitely no. play this game. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm hoping I'm not one of those people. I would hope not be one of those people. Okay. I, I, I can honestly say I wouldn't be one of those people because, like, I probably have a more eclectic taste in games than most mainstream people these days. Like, I play a lot of mainstream games, but don't get it twisted. I don't play the mainstream games that everybody else is. Like, if 2K came and say, yo, like, Mike, we really want you to be here for this, like, NBA 2K event. I'm like, no. Unless you prove to me that 2K is actually fun to play, <laughs> like it had was, like, back in 2K11, I'm not interested. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not just going to show up just to, like, be a face for something, you know? You can never get me to go to a Call of Duty event because I don't fucking like Call of Duty. So Call of Duty, you know, I don't care if they had, were going to give me Epic's $100 million. Mm-hmm. I can't do that shit. Like but Call of Duty, though? Like, I don't hate Call of Duty $100 million. I hate Call of Duty. I like I hate Call of Duty like 10k, 100k. I, I can I can hate Call of Duty. 100 million dollars. You know, Call of Duty got some good points. Call of Duty got a few good points. <laughs> no, nah, like I don't hate Call of Duty. Like that's my thing. Like it'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find a game that I hated. Well, I would say hate. It's not really hate. I'm trying to think like of a game. If somebody was like, you gotta fin- you gotta finish Ride to Hell Retribution for like ten thousand dollars, I'd be like, that's gonna be a shit. I'll try, but I'm not guaranteeing nothing. I, well, let me take that back because you know I'll give something a shot. You not even you don't even have to give me a hundred million dollars. You just want me to just like yeah. I am going to pre-order Call of Duty just to like. Um, I'm going to pre-order both the beta. of them on just to play the beta to get my beta. Exactly, because that's what I do. I go ahead and let people be really get me. Why you do that? I'm like, because they don't charge you till it ships. Right. No money down. No I charge to the ships. And all I gotta remember is to cancel my to cancel that shit if I don't like it. I've <laughs> remembered, but I've forgotten before. That happened once. No, um, in fact, I. This is one of the benefits of having the Echo Spot. I wow! Can ask I actually stop promoting. Black, why did you sell yourself out to Amazon, sir? But I can use her to put it on my calendar. So she can just like, you know, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. This Chat, notice this. Hashtag, yeah. hashtag didn't say he was sponsored. Hashtag sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored, really. Hashtag you don't really know which one of these oh, hashtags yeah. is real. No, hashtag. hashtag. I'm honestly, that's why I wish I was sponsored by um, Lord Bezos. Lord Bezos, please, if you want oh to pay me. God. <laughs> I'm, right, but, I, I'm at your service, my faithful leader. Yeah, Battlefield Five. So, how do you feel about it? <laughs> no, I got it. It's cool. I mean, I'm disappointed that they went back to World War II. At the same time, I'm kind of excited because World War II, one of my favorite periods of history. Um, I like the fact that they're taking these different views on these older wars, like with Battlefield One. It was interesting to see them do this whole stories thing where they went from different perspectives in different theaters um, with this single player content and how like even with the multiplayer, it wasn't just the traditional well known areas of the conflict. Yeah. They went like all over the map. Um they had context to it. Um I feel like they're gonna do the same thing here, especially with the fact that they're focusing on like small resistance group of um Norway to start. Um I'm pleased that there's no more premium. Uh, there's no more premium membership thing. So 
you, everybody's going to get the maps. Everybody's going to get all the extra content. What I'm means sure splitting your player base across maps isn't a good thing? Yeah, I know. Novel idea, isn't it? But I do know, like, I know they say there's no pay to play. I'm sure they're going to still have the gear packs and things like that. Because, which I'm fine with. It's like uh -huh. if you want to be that extra person to buy those extra skins and weird gear things, we're fine. That's your money. I have no problem with that. But I do like the fact that everybody's getting the maps uh, pretty much day and day. Um, so. I, I see like I agree with you with most of the stuff. I just because the conversation already well Call of Duty Battlefield, Call of Duty Battlefield, Call of Duty Battlefield. It's a very easy choice for me personally. If I'm getting one of the two. Battlefield. I don't want World War II. I literally just, just don't don't put me in World War II. Just don't team. don't put me in any older war. But Keep see the thing modern is, to postmodern and I'm good. But the thing that with me is like I respect when Battlefield does it because they're going to try to have some authenticity to it. You mean like how one of the new features is you are actually moved by explosions now. That's one of the things I caught before I turned off the stream. Was like explosions will actually move your character if you're nearby and not hit. Like that yeah. will actually be a thing. And I'm like, that's cool. Am I weird to have geeked out when I saw him throw the grenade back? <laughs> no. I was like, yo, fine, thank you. Cause I want to be I'm one of the do that so, like all the what time. Game? Oh yeah, it's it's Far Cry Five where you have to unlock a perk to be able to throw grenades back. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Don't, don't ask questions. Off the bat, just pick it up. Throw yeah, see, like, I don't know. Like, I guess I'm I'm a bad company dude. Like, I like bad company a lot. I've always loved Battlefield's dedication to destructibility, even to the scale of its maps. If a game, if a if one of the like mainstream shooters was gonna do a battle royale i was having a conversation with uh mav about this the other day battlefield is like the closest that could probably like could do it probably the easiest they already have 64 player maps the maps are already pretty big like for them they're scaling up by like what a factor of two on player size and map size maybe three maybe four i think that would be done really well and it could be done super it could be done super well but I don't know. World War II to me as a setting is it limits what you can do. Of course, if you do like alternate history, you can kind of mess with it a little bit. But that's not Battlefield's thing. Battlefield doesn't do like super alternate history where we're walking around with Tesla cannons. That's more in line with Doom and or Wolfenstein. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no bullshit stuff like zombie modes and all that. It's, it's going to be tell like a more accurate telling. It's going to have and honestly, I like the weapons of like World War II so much. Maybe because uh, again, I'm a history person, and in that time, I, like the innovation that they came up with, it's like I was geeking out another time when um, I don't. Nobody but probably me probably really paid attention and noticed this, but you know, the, during the trailer when like they're running around and you're fighting, they're showing you as a player fighting, and this guy screams rocket. And you like see this big explosion? Yeah, I was like, "Whoa! They have V one rockets. They literally got V one rockets." I'm like, but nobody knows what V one rocket is. World War Two, but I was geeked out because I'm like, "Yo, it's a V fucking one rocket from the Germans." God, you're a geek. Yeah, I am. I, I'm sorry. Do you know how devastating V one rockets were at the time, sir? I'm playing. They were the first game. long. They were the first long range. I I know. I know that. I I know that. You you personally were alive for those wars, but they're not that interesting. Okay. See now you're getting <laughs> disrespectful. I'm gonna need you to tone that down, sir. But no, it's just like stuff like that. And like I'm curious to see like you saw the planes that they used and things like that. The different machine guns. Um. The one cool thing, I give him credit, the cool thing in the trailer was when he, uh, the dude took the grenade, tossed it up in the air, and the dude shot it with the machine gun and took the plane out of the sky. That was just cool. Like, I can't pretend like that wasn't just yeah, no, it's dope just... AF to, like, watch. No, the animations and things that are going to have in that game are going to be awesome, and it's going to be, like, really, really cool. It's like, again, I kind of wish 
they would have went back to the modern because Battlefield three and four I love, but at the end of the day, Battlefield nineteen forty two was one of the best. Like, as for a person who don't play shooters, this was the funnest shooter experiences I ever had in my life. So, I I want to. Yeah, I I and I like the era, and when it's done right, you know, it's like I can't do the Call of Duty ones because like. What was the name of the Treyarch one? The first one? Uh, uh, Warband War? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you had some cool set pieces, but yeah. Blah. Nah. Oh. I can't stay in Call of Duty's mechanics. The mechanics right. that game is horrible. But what do you mean? Cool. That game is just horrible. It's like, I can't get, I can't get with the mechanics of Call of Duty. At least the post modern warfare call of duty like if you want to go back to original call of duty mm-hmm. sure <laughs> i'm fine but after they turned it into modern warfare hey. see i'm the other way around hey, Kaiser, you... hey, everybody was saying we don't want jetpacks put us the boots back on the ground take us back and i'm like what are you doing no go forward in time not back we don't need this we don't need this no, and that's what I'm saying. That's my biggest disappointment is like, yeah, um, you should just keep going with the modern um, thing. But like I said, at the same time, I can I can play it because I know it's going to be – it's dice. It's dice. It's going to be a mechanically sound, like realistically toned, um, smooth experience. It's just like I wish they would – just keep going with the modern, yeah. Holy fuck. Well, I'm, I'm I'm cool. October nineteenth, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be I'll I'll be probably not playing either game and just buying Tomb Raider. I think that comes out that month, <laughs> and just not touching. Well, Tomb Raider comes out the fourteenth. No, Tomb Raider is going in a really weird position. What isn't at the end of October? Then there's some other game that's at the end. No, Tomb Raider's not October. That's the thing. What game am I thinking of? The game that comes um, out Red Dead. Red Dead is what's going to knock Battlefield off. Oh, wait, I'm not playing Red Dead. October 24th. I'm not oh. playing Red Dead either. God, no, I'm not. October. Uh, I refuse to play. I, I, I'm not playing on the PS4. I can't aim. And I'm not going to like subject myself to frustration for oh, Red Dead. I'll wait the two and a half years it takes Rockstar to realize that they can print money by releasing a game, another game on PC. You know what? That's you interesting. Know. You don't want to... No, like, I, I'm somebody that, like, at this point, I would rather play it on my platform of yeah, choice than to, than to... And if they're like, well, what if it never comes there? Then I'll end up having to play it on there, Come but here. Here. if it does, I'll Come be happy. Here. I just I'm just kind of frustrated that like eh. like you can print money. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why they can wait because they know you're gonna wait anyway. So fuck you. You can complain all you want, but once we come, once we here, you're gonna come to the altar. That's the thing about Rockstar. That's fucking like wow. I still they like- they can fuck with you because they know that you're gonna like you gonna bitch you're gonna moan. And then when they bring out the PC version, and you're gonna be there. I, I be mean, I, 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 God. they know their audience. They were like, "Come on, you ain't gonna, you, you ain't gonna fucking." I got. You're talking to the. I, I don't care about whatever that game is. The other, the game they're famous for. I actually have not that big of an. No, interest. that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. It doesn't matter whether. You, know, but you, every, like, yeah, the majority of people. I'm trying to actually look right now. No, but the thing is, whatever it is that you are into that Rockstar does, you're going to come to the altar because you know you love what they did or what they do. That's why they do what they do because they can get away with it. Rockstar knows how knows. Y'all need to look, look. Y'all need to stop supporting these fuckity fuck developers. All right. (laughs) No, Tell them we so, want games on PC the same time. So February 2019, when um, Red Dead comes out, you buying it, right? I don't know. You buying it, right? I probably forget this you entire didn't, conversation. You buying it, right? Even if I say no, I'll probably forget the entire conversation. Please, somebody archive this. I need to archive this shit. In fact, because I, I know we will probably forget this conversation and end up buying it. I like Red Dead One a lot. 
but yeah, you gotta buy. You no, know, it's it's better than Grand Theft Auto and yeah, Bully. Yes, it is. It others. is. I agree. They're better. It's than like Grand one. It is probably their best pro- One of their best properties. It is their best property. I mean, I wasn't gonna go that far in case people. No, it is. Red Dead is their best property. Um, it is their mo- their most mature. Um, what do you like, mean? Grand Theft Auto Five prior- was very mature. Grand Theft Auto Auto period. Or just regurg- is a regurgitation of each other. But extra no, stuff. only regurgitation that exists in video games is Call of Duty. They just make the same game over nah. and over again. Grand Theft Auto makes the same formula. Grand Theft Auto is the same formula game, just in different settings. No, and with interesting characters. Grand Theft Auto stands out the most because they're characters. You gotta, character. you gotta understand. Black. I remember, yeah. you gotta understand. No. San Andreas talked about. Like the hood for black people, and then you had like Vice City, which was Italians, and then you had. Uh, no, what's the name of the game that was in Hong Kong? I forget. Um, uh, not dogs, sleeping dogs. dogs. Yeah, sleeping dogs. That I literally was like not watch game. dogs. Like literally, that was a better game than Grand Theft Auto Four at the time. Wow. Right, 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 right. Yeah, oh, Grand Theft Auto Four was horrible. Russian Mafia. Yes, it was. Is Grand Theft Auto Five. Grow Four. They they just hit all the, the, the mafias. They're different, Black. You know, Stephen, Stephen Dawes was... Uh, if you have any problems with opinions voice there on the show, send them to at Black Magus. At, at Black Magus on Twitter. Um, Black Magus without the underscore on Gmail. Um, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Black Magus. I don't care. At me anywhere. I'm not even going to say don't at me. At me. Because I ain't going to be bugged. bullshit to him. You, you Grand Theft Auto I would just block you and not, not even all, respond. Structurally, they're good games. They're great, mm-hmm. and they're like character structure. But the same fucking game every time. San Andreas was the biggest change that we've ever seen in Grand Theft Auto. And ever since then, everything is just a improved version of San Andreas. That's it. I don't know about all that. And even then, Grand Theft Auto Four wasn't improved because that was the one time where when you finally had. I'm sorry, all y'all who like Nico, y'all wrong. Not a great protagonist, Nico Bellic. What do you mean, Nico had Bellic? A weak protagonist since Grand Theft Auto Three. Like Grand Theft Auto Three made the impression because it wasn't about the protagonist. It was about everything that you do that you've never done before in the open world games. What that do you mean, it. Nico Bellic is when not good protagonist? Nico Bellic, you got a bad pr- protagonist, and that uh, that was when the veil came off. That was when the rose colored glasses started to like clear up, and you realized, yo. The same fucking games, and yeah, they don't really do much else. <laughs> it's the same shit again, again, and again. But they've had so many dynamic characters that you loved that you let it by. So, man, there you go. Again, you have all my addresses, the links in the description. Feel free to come at me. I would recommend coming at him, Chad. It works. Yeah, every I, time. I have no problem because I'm just going to laugh. I am going to laugh. It works I, every time. Yeah. He feels very bad. He cries about it at night. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. I'm just I'll helping you out. The the be prepared for a lot of the Kermit memes, okay? Because I'm going to be sipping tea all day. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we got off on a weird tangent. Battlefield 5, yeah, I'm Let's interested. Go. Um I'm curious to see what else they're going to show when they do the whole EA live play bullshit that they do every year. Um, see how the gameplay shapes up when they get there. Um, but um, since we're talking about shooters, I guess we should mention the Call of Duty thing because that did happen. Um, I, cool. just, I ended up watching it and it ended up being pretty cool. I like Call of Duty's presentation. Um, Morning Battlefield. So how do you? Well, yeah, the battlefield. I mean, EA's presentation is horrible. Anyway, <laughs> I was just there, like I said, I was just there to see the trailer. Do you, do you know hear it, some of the things? Do you know what this presentation told me, Black? What? Get ready for more FIFA talk with some famous person that we don't really need to tell us. You know, EA is the worst. That's why EA was smart to get rid of their E3 show because they're horrible. <laughs> They are. They're, 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 they're like the worst. They do the right. dumbest shit. Like every year, every year, so there's somebody who like comes out and drops a bomb that they don't normally do. Like I didn't care that much for Ubisoft show last year. 
as opposed to other years. But it's like, okay, we understand it. Usually you're solid. Yeah. EA, I can't think of any EA show where I actually came out with like, look, um, if it wasn't for this one thing that I was interested in, I would like have turned this thing off a long time. Star ago. Wars bounty hunter game that was possibly canceled. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, the Call of Duty event ended up. Uh, we didn't get to see any of the actual battle royale mode. They just announced it and hyped it up. Uh, zombies looks like they're adding more personality and just giving the mode a lot more substance than they normally do at launch. And normal multiplayer looks like they are taking the class or slash operative slash uh, very specific ability focused uh, gameplay of games like a lot of the other infantry based games like Siege. Um, you could toss an Overwatch in there. Games that are more about like a team being composed of very interesting characters. How do you feel about no campaign? Yes. I don't. I've been on the no campaign oh, train God. since the first Titanfall. Wait, wait, wait. When people wait. were like, oh. why would I pay $60 for a game without a campaign? If the gameplay is good enough and the game is there, I don't care. <laughs> the funny I thing want. is you, you people have done that for years. Cause, uh, but I just remember the conversation <laughs> was super big when Titanfall came out. Like I just remember specifically the entire conversation of is a game worth sixty dollars if it doesn't have a campaign or if it's multiplayer only, and in today's age, we've been progressing towards it for literal years. I would rather they spend the time and make three more maps than give me a four-hour campaign that barely anybody worked on. But see, that's the thing. Like for me, getting rid of the campaign is probably eliminating the one thing that I would probably play Call of Duty 4. Well, I'm not necessarily interested in their multiplayer. I'm Right now, I, it's being 100% to go with that line of logic. I'm only caring about zombies and yeah. uh, the Battle Royale mode. Yeah, I think Call of Duty multiplayer is hit or miss. Right. Like, and then their stories... I'm the dude that, like, I will play a Call of Duty story because I have nothing better to do, and the moment I stop is the, as far as I get in the campaign. Yeah, no. But I mean, it's like for me, because I don't enjoy Call of Duty's multiplayer components and I'm not really big into the zombie thing. That eliminates like any interest I may have had, which is fine. You know, Call of Duty's not been for me for years anyway. Um, that being said, um, again, I feel like people don't realize they've been buying games for $60 not to play campaigns. So to like make that argument that you can't buy it and it's not worth it because I don't get the campaign. It's kind of ludicrous because the amount of time that people put into Call of Duty games, oh. probably it, it makes it worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're going, it's like you don't, you're not really thinking about like how much energy, time and energy you put in this thing where you play it so much, you ignore a major component of it. So you can't make that argument that now it's not worth it because it's been something that you've been ignoring all these years. Like, no, yeah. stop playing. Yeah, you know, so I just, it, people, people, yeah, people have this weird. It, it's like the like fucking um, backwards compatibility argument that people make. It's like y'all just want that shit because you just want it. It's not because you're gonna actually truly use it on any profound level. You just like the idea that you can do something. That's all. Because nobody's really buying a new system to constantly go back and play stuff from the old system. Let's be real. It's, like, it's the dumbest argument. It's one. It's it, that argument with the ca campaign thing is very much akin to that argument of really <laughs> to me. It's just like y'all make this such a big deal for something that statistically, and you could probably admit personally if you weren't such a fucking hypocrite that you don't really fuck with like that. So why are you mad? Stop it. Because reasons? Oh my gosh. What do you think of uh, on the since we're still on Battlefield Call of Duty, what do you think of the outrage around female characters in Battlefield? Um again, one thing that I love about Battlefield is its historic accuracy. Um mm -hmm. if you look at the dynamic, yeah. It's like in Battlefield 1 when they came out with the um 
the I forget the something of the czar um, uh, DLC where they had the female um, soldier on the front and people were like what the fuck this is like oh inaccurate you're bullshitting you know who were the most decorated snipers in World War One and World War Two Russian women they Russia always hired women to be snipers because they felt like women were better at it and. Statistically, they proved to be the most, the best people. They racked I'm up just... the most kills in a war by a sniper was by a, wo- a Russian woman. <laughs> so it's history. It's a, it's accurate. They're not just doing it to be inclusive. It's actually a part of what happened. So why are you mad? It's not like again, like Call of Duty World War Two, where they just make facsimiles of that shit and just throw women on the battlefield. For any old country, no, they actually like use historic accurate people. Like during resistance fighters in France and in other countries in Europe who were being occupied by Germany, they let they enlisted women. It's like every it's every man on deck, basically, because we're trying to fight for our home. <laughs> it's like you got to understand that this is that them just plan. They actually they actually pay attention what went on. No, they don't. It's not historically accurate, sir. Like, read a book. God damn it. Shit. I don't need to read a book. I learned everything I needed to learn. Then Google it and you'll find it to be true. It's like, God damn it. What do you mean? Alexa, Google it. women in World War II? I don't know that. Damn. Damn. Alexa, you disappointed me. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. (laughs) You're not going to go in there and be like, she didn't know, blah, blah, blah. You're an intolerant platform, Amazon. I'm not shopping with you anymore. Uh, Hey, Hey, she apologized. She was like, I'm sorry. Hey. But um, joking aside, yeah, it's, 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 it's stupid. Like, chill out, people. Yeah. And if you care so much about historical accuracy, you should probably know history first. Exactly. And better yet, grow the fuck up. Jeez. Uh, nah, see, that's the internet. You're not changing that. But um, one can dream. One can dream. It'll be an interesting perspective to hear that you're a battlefield person and I'm sitting here looking at Call of Duty like it looks solid. I, mean, I don't understand why Call of Duty is considered fun and why people like it. It's, I mean, it's just different styles, different tastes, and it Call of Duty is not at its core, bad. I just don't enjoy um, the mechanics around it. That's all. I understand that. I definitely understand that. Like battle, uh, like um, Modern Warfare Two, pretty much just broke me with the bullshit. Um, what's his name? Um, Grenade launcher. No, the the perk system and the goddamn, you know, three five seven eleven, like all that, the, 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 like and getting to the nukes. So it's just like I don't find that interesting. Okay. I I'm much more like like Destiny appeal multiplayer appeals to me because it's like your super is more of a one or two shot thing. I'm not going to have to sit here and like oh okay. you know, yeah. yeah I don't with kill streaks I don't have to worry about you setting oh, yourself up to get that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people who learned like the formula to set themselves up to get to that where Destiny's like you got to engage to get to that point. You don't have to engage to get to that point with um, Call of Duty. Correct. You can just run certain like things, perks, equipment, and you can get to that, and then like you know, turtle yourself until you get to that point. Like you just said, in two, what did everybody do? It's like once they got to what was it? Seven was the um, they plant, right? I to be. I, I don't know. I, I, if I remember, seven was when you had the airstrike. Well, everybody was just playing in two for that 25. Not airstrike, but yeah, no. It, like I think seven or nine was when you got to the like um, the it's, Harrier. You got the Harrier that just hovered around the map and just like ate people alive. And like you could just sit there and like hide and let the Harrier go to work. And then like, oh, 11, AC, 130 in the air. Let's go. And then like you could just sit up in the air and like bust everybody's ass. I don't see the issue. Huh? I don't see the issue. Bring back Call of Duty camping. 
But it's just like, yeah, you got to that 25. So it's like for Call of Duty. As I don't buy the game, I say this. Yeah, no, it's like they set you up to be able to do like damage with the minimum of work. Yeah, no, I understand. I hundred percent understand. Um I don't know. I, I I think if you're looking for either one of the games, both the games seem to recognize that they have to go back kind of to what people originally liked about them. So you'll be getting you know the general thing people care about, you know, like big scale wars has always been Battlefield's thing. And then uh, Call of Duty has always been infiltry, fast paced gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Black, you know what, it, what, what, what it's been? What? It's been a little bit over an hour since we started this. You know what else has actually quite a bit more than an hour? A footage just came out for this game recently. Yeah, it actually got about three hours of footage, to be quite honest. If you go to GameInformer.com, they have tons of footage. As the cover story for Game Informer this month is Days Gone, a game that a lot of people have like not you know, really been caring about because, one, a lot of people wrote it off as a Last of Us clone, which okay, it really isn't. Um, and two, because Sony, with the delay... Um, has everybody thinking that there's something wrong with the game and it's not. So now here's my question to you. This isn't coming out this year. No. Or do you think that that like they, this was just older older footage? It's out for I mean it says it on the video. They, he even not, tells you he's like, Yeah, we're past beta and we're getting past the in one of the videos, I don't know if I okay. sent you so that that's one. what my question was. No, no. But, but yeah, the original one of the one hour videos, if you go through it. They're talking to one of the developers as they play it, and he's like, "Yeah, no, this is like, like first alpha." Yeah, so that's, that was my question. I'm like, if you're still in alpha, this game is not nowhere near done. Yeah, no, he was saying the build that they showed him was like the first alpha. Okay. So, yeah, but they, no, it's, it looks interesting. It's some solid gameplay. Um, unfortunately for that game, I think. If you're not a Last of Us, zombie fatigue, I think, is still a thing. Like, I don't think people are looking for zombie games like that. I mean, maybe it's a PlayStation exclusive, so maybe people. But like you said, the delay is people scared. I don't think the game is going to do particularly well, especially in a world where Last of Us 2 has been announced. See, I don't know. After watching the footage, I really don't know. Because how much of the footage did you watch? Uh, I watched, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then I scrubbed through like the last 35 of the video you saw. Because okay. like, I don't know if you saw the second before. video. On um, the second video, they let the people at Game Informer just go loose after. Because the first video was just basically the first hour of the game. Yeah. They're basically, you know, going learning the game and getting through part of the story to set up. You have to learn video games? No, we just play them and we're good at them. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know how games are structured these days. They try to. This is get your bearings. Um, but after that, they let them play free roam mm -hmm. for an hour. They they showed free roam play. Um, and I think that's where it's going to hit. I honestly think that that is probably going to be its thing because um, and I remember when I was looking at it, they made um, mention how they asked the you know director like, "Is this like the last of us?" He was like, "No," and he was like. Um, what is it? What would you say it was close? Like he was like, I would say ninety five point nine, like ninety nine point five percent is more closer to a Far Cry type thing because of how the open world is set up and the structure. And then when they were playing it, you can kind of see that because yeah. you don't have to dedicate yourself to the story, which the story has really little to do necessarily with zombies. It's just that you're in a world. That just recently fell apart and these things came about yeah, and it's more about like you know people trying to um pull themselves back and create society like reinvent society are you feeling zombie fatigue no because one i don't play a lot of zombie games two to me it's only a fatigue thing if you do bad stuff you know what i mean like if the game is black like, really bad. I didn't quite hear you over there. Yeah. Like the guy like, is like God of War, 
going to like the new one uh isn't a bad hack and slash or character action game therefore if you're tired of character action games you're not tired of that because it's still it's good yeah yeah it's like the whole like fatigue like people say i got shooter fatigue stuff like that okay i understand from like a multiplayer perspective yeah um but from a single player perspective i don't necessarily see that because structurally speaking most games if they lie within a certain genre are going to be familiar to other things that you play um it's just the way life is with just about anything it's just like you can't say i'm tired of domino's pizza but i'm gonna eat pizza hut um why you're still, eating pizza, you're still eating pizza but i didn't say i was tired of pizza yeah and that's the thing so stop saying that you're tired of like you have this fatigue for things when you're I'm, not really because if you see something that piques your interest that's similar you're gonna get it anyway i feel like i would argue that like I, there's a difference between being actually fatigued and saying you have fatigue if that makes sense it's like in turn if all you do is eat pizza every day, all day, no matter who it is, yeah, you probably should get fatigued and you should want to try something else. Yeah. But that's because you put yourself in that position. It's not anything wrong with the particular thing. It's you do it too much. You know what I mean? And, and I find it funny how you know, people just don't want to acknowledge, like, maybe you go overboard. Nah, it's not me. It's everything else. Yeah, it has to be something else. You can't take that responsibility to say, yo, maybe I need to just chill out and do something else for a day. But it, that's neither here nor there. Um, no, I mean, the things that they had you do, the interactions, um, it looked cool. It looked like it would be like, honestly, it looked like a game that if they would put co op in, it would be even better. Yeah, I got that vibe too. You know, I think Solo is going to be cool doing the run around thing um, through the world and experiencing stuff. But yeah, if it had a co-op mode, that would even make it even more appealing because it would be a very good rival to a game like State of Decay. Yeah. Well, you just got to make sure your game works and it'll be State of Decay. I, yeah. I mean, I, I kid, I kid. Eh, it is. A, have you played Save the K, by the way? No. I'm waiting to, I need to use my Microsoft uh, Game Pass or whatever. I still haven't, you used have the free trial. I haven't used the free trial yet, so I'm going to use that and Why play it for two weeks. Shit. Since Microsoft is at the point where they're giving their games away just to get you to play them. Shit. Uh, because Sea of Thieves was not that good. And so I decided not to randomly wasted on it because I also had nobody to play the game with. I said, I have oh. no friends, Black. Oh, well, that's the thing. Well, at least it's on PC, so you can get people to yeah. jump up. More. But um, ultimately, you know, I, I think that I see if Thieves is cool. Zombie games are cool. I just always wonder because I feel like zombies are still a thing and it's been a thing for a long time. And it's not as bad as it was like maybe a couple of years ago, three years, two, three years ago, but it's still really stressful. Does that make sense? No. I'll just go No, um, like for me, I don't play a lot of I won't have the fatigue because I don't play a lot of that stuff because I'm a bitch, you know. I'm, wow. I can't, like I can't take like this game. I probably would play because it seems like a more lighter of um, zombie game. Like I'm sorry, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Last of Us, fuck with me a lot. Like that shit. Last of Us is bad. Huh? But Last of Us is bad. It's a great game, but it's like, I you know, know all the that. tension is fucking. Don't don't stretch. Don't don't reach black. Last of Us is a great game. What are you talking about? No, I'm stuck them out. Hmm? Can't agree with that. Good game, not a great game. Yeah, it's great. 
And I'd say great because of the storytelling aspect. Um, nah. If you were to talk mechanics, well, I'm sure I could find something. I know me, I could find something to dismiss the mechanic thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being stupid. But yeah. I'm just being f- the internet. Everything is bad because I don't like anything, but I love it all at the same time. Yeah, no, um, I have issues. I need to stop watching some people's content. It's, it's, <laughs> my Jesus, this is all you do, sir. But, but anyway, but yeah, um, no, Days Gone looks interesting. Uh, I think they're smart to push it back. Mm-hmm. Um, because they have so much coming out this year that they yeah. that you can lean on, and you don't want to bury this new IP under the weight of stuff. I, yeah, I I'd still say like you can't in a world where Last of Us Two exists, you do not release another zombie game as a first party title, or as a as a like as a a, a major exclusive, should I say, not a first party title. You don't release another zombie game because that's like that's like what EA did to Titanfall Two. What? You choose to release Titanfall 2 in the week between uh, yeah. your release and Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Like, that <laughs> is... Yeah. Nobody cared about Titanfall 2 because they probably... Like, either you were looking for Titanfall 2 or you weren't. Like, if... Imagine that, Black. Like, somebody's like, hey, in three months, you can buy... You could buy... Three months before Last of Us 2, you could buy De- Days Gone. And it's like... Yeah, no, I feel like they're gonna space this out enough. Like you'll see Days Gone come probably I think February. Days Gone is gonna be yes. It's an early year release. Like Neo, um, uh, what was it? Horizon. Like it's not gonna be your heavy hitter for the year, but it's gonna like ultimately be like it's it's the oh, game they're kind of gonna take a risk on a little bit, so they drop it early in the year so that some of their bigger titles will yeah. drop later. Yeah, no, I, it's going to be just a table setter. It should be cool. Uh, and I'll play it, you know. I will ask you how it is. Yeah, I'll play it just because, like, it'll be a lighter thing. After Far Cry 5. I, Although I will say this. I don't. I need to send you the horde mode video because I probably will try to avoid hordes, even though they're going to make you do it. I don't want to play it. It's horde. No, they they have you go up against three hundred fucking of those things. Well, that's easy. You have to clear out the whole horde. That's easy to access certain areas. No, it's Simple. not. If you looked at the video, and again, I'll send you a video. You look at the video, you can be like, God damn. Oh. I'll stick with my. I'll keep being a very simple and weak minded individual and just play my Destiny DLC. Yeah, I need to get on that again. Um, Iron Banner this week too. Oh, to- it is. So nice. Six v six. They brought back uh, the map that's in the tower. Yeah, Bannerfall. I saw that. It's, it's horrible. It's it's really bad right now. I think they moved the flags, and they they do not function as well. Oh, they did move the flags. <laughs> so it's, awesome. It's really swingy. But six, having six v six back in Destiny is also dope. Having a lot of fun with. I'm still having fun with Destiny. I have now. I run the raid once a week. I played Destiny two probably like I did most of my weekly reset stuff yesterday. I got to do some stuff today. But like I probably put like ten hours into Destiny two, and there's still some stuff in the DLC I haven't done. That's because Bungie may have made it a little bit difficult to do. But that might be for a different show. You and I get to start talking Destiny, and we might not stop. Yeah, I gotta get back on. I that. can't wait for September. September, it's it's the Destiny Two Taken King equivalent. So, should hopefully be good. For those that don't know me and Black Wolf like Destiny. Yeah, I love Destiny. and for those who don't know, I like stuff that everybody else complains about. Man. So. Well, now everybody's complaining about Destiny 2 because it's not as good as Def- Destiny 1 because they fixed all the problems with Destiny 1. Yeah. And now they want the problems from Destiny 1 back. Yeah. Uh, and then, what was it? I think we had one more story. Or at least one or two more stories. Um, A couple of more. Uh, 
that we had shit. Let's save the 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 last story should be the the PlayStation. The end. Oh. The the final story. This is the end. Um do you want to talk about the probably fake but possibly not fake memo? Uh, with the um different um conferences conferences i would love to talk about the fake stuff because simply i need y'all to calm down internet stop it bro like i want that to be so real but it is like it would be cool if diablo did it. come on <laughs> I, still, I, I, I was messing with people when people were like oh yeah look at this list this is so real. i was like the moment it said kingdom hearts 3 and release date i knew it was fake you those two things don't happen yeah those two things don't happen. Although I really do think that the King of Hearts release date is going to come out this year. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I, I joke. I don't know if it's it. going to be on Sony stage or it's going to be on Square, but one of them is going to be like Square. Hey, 100% yeah. be Square. You think Square yeah. is going to just go ahead and finally play? Look. Square, I think, has to understand that, like, if you have Final Fantasy VII, the remake, if you have, like, a bunch, you have a bunch of properties that, like, I think they also come before Sony. Yeah, they do. They're on. Yeah, then they're gonna. Then they're definitely gonna drop. I think they're on Sunday. And then I think Sony will get like an extended gameplay demo or something. That'd be hot. I can see what all the hype is. You mean all the hype is? Why have you not already bought all of the Kingdom Hearts packs? Yeah, because we got Saturday, which will be EA. Sunday will be Microsoft, and we still got to talk Sunday's about Microsoft, but that's the Devolver. Yeah. Be... <laughs> I actually am really looking forward to the Devolver shit because after what they did last year, last I'm year like, was crazy as fuck. But yo, y'all are weird and ridiculous. And... Then Monday Square Enix, Ubisoft, the PC gaming show, Sony, uh, and then PlayStation, and Tuesdays, Nintendo, and then the yeah. Smash Invitation, and then the Epic Games uh, celebrity stuff is supposed to happen sometime. Can I can I have a quick aside going into E3? We'll probably have like one or two more shows before E3, maybe possibly. Uh, don't watch the PC gaming show if you didn't like it before. You yeah. have had three years of the same thing. If you watch I it, you watch it so I can complain, sir. If you watch it a fourth time and talk about how boring it is. I'm a curmudgeon. I must fuck one. Day nine is day nine is a national treasure, and we need to keep him the way he is. All right, that's number one. No, if we could change his name, please. No, day nine is dope. What? Oh, they're all coming for. Oh, they're all coming. But right I, all I'm saying is like, please, like the PC gaming show is always fun for me, but most people will say it's boring just because it's. They're all back I just it's not like a conference; it's a show. Yeah, I don't like their presentation style. It's it's like a late night talk show in the, on it's a late night talk show. At 6 p.m. on Monday. You know, I, it, I shouldn't say I don't like your presentation style. Or I mean, well, no, I don't like it. But I feel like it only works if you have one, an interesting enough host to carry it. And two, your guests are interesting enough. I mean, See, but that's my thing. Look, like, no disrespect, game developers, but y'all, like, beyond, like, Quick take videos or like the just the direct talk. Yeah. Like, they're not interesting interviews. I make the point with everybody. Like I joke with people all the time that, like, when I see a gameplay video and there's a dev on it, I mute it unless there's specifically something I'm trying to hear about. Because, as I understand how much you love you have for your thing, but I don't need you to hear you talk like that tree was so de- that. There's a funny story with that tree. So. It had an extra polygon, and it made the world. B- and it's just like I, I just, like I appreciate. You. And then with day nine, day nine has um, weird humor. We'll go with weird humor, and so I get why people don't mess with day nine super often either. But I hope they don't change anything because I love me my PC gamer show. Mm. Lexus is up here like, don't don't listen to him. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, hey, it is it is what it is. I mean, some of the stuff that they show there is cool, but shit. Do we want to kill Miss Fortune or we we'll see? We'll there? see. Uh, yeah. But E3 is coming up, so for those that are probably wondering, like, why basically if things seem a little bit light now, give it a week or two. More leaks will probably be happening, and then the actual news will start rolling in, and Black and I will probably. Yeah, I'm I should take I, the I mean, eleventh off. I was gonna so. ask you a question. What's the question? Are we? Did we do it last year? or Was it two years ago that we did like? We did it two we, years ago, and we recaps. actually did like some recaps yeah. last year too. Yeah. Two years ago, we actually sat up. And yeah, no, nah, it was more than just two. It was two and three years ago because three. Yeah, years we did ago, two years in a row. Like three we, years ago was when I was living at the other place, and we, you and I, literally were like, I think one because that was when like there were still like five conferences in one day. Yeah, you and I, the, you and I talked from like yeah, damn ten a.m. or something like gross like yeah, that to like until about nine 11. or ten p.m. because of Sony. I mean eleven. Because remember, Sony's always starts theirs around like Eastern time, nine or something. It's like nine that, that they start. And, like so. we were literally, and it was literally like, hey, all right, I'm gonna take a half an hour to go get some food, all right, or make some food. I'll see you in half an hour for EA coming up next, Square Enix coming up next, Ubi next. Because it always starts with micro. It always started with Microsoft, like super. Yeah, early. like Microsoft was like at um, ten a.m. Which I want to say, yeah. thank you, thank you, developers. I just want to say that thank you to all the developers out there for not for spacing out your conferences. Like I appreciate only having. Well, I think they realized there. for them too it was long because remember they had to be involved in other people like the platform. They had to be involved in each platform's conference God. plus their own shit. So they probably were like, "Fuck this, we ain't doing that shit no more." <laughs> no, like less yeah. than I stress. If if y'all wonder, news will be a plenty in a week, if that less yeah. than a week. Yeah, because remember they've already. Um, in fact, I had to finish listening to the Giant Bomb podcast because um, Jeff Gersman was at uh, the Judges Week day playing stuff, and he was talking about some of the things he played. So, uh, so yeah, no, it's a lot of news. A lot of news going on. I'll start prepping very soon. I think they're So yeah, um, real quick, uh, before we go into the Sony thing, mm-hmm. uh. Detroit Become Human, the demo. I played it. I know you have it. Um, it was an interesting demo. Um, I'm curious to see where they're going to go with the story. Uh, and I did do an impressions video if you want to check it out on my YouTube channel, um, people. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's a David Cage game. Uh, so take that how you will. Um, some of you may not care for yourself. Some of you may be hyped for that type of stuff because of the weirdness. I feel like this is going to be the least weird one. Oh, I don't know. And the only reason I say that is because I feel like this is probably the most grounded story. I mean, we've been, we're in the future again and we know how Fahrenheit went. Yeah, but I just feel like it's the most grounded because they're taking a theme that we're accustomed to, that we're yeah. truly accustomed to True. dealing with. You know, like equality and rights yeah, of certain things. So. Um, AI lives matter. Yo, have you seen any of the videos no. that Sony's been putting out for it? I don't. I don't want. They've been putting on these short interview things, like where they interview people. Like they did an interview of the guy who created the AI. Uh huh. And they did another interview where they talked to his first personal assistant. It's like, yo, they're creepy as fuck. Like, yo. Like what the f- yeah? What do you mean creepy? They're not creepy at all. <laughs> Put it this way: in the la- latest one, when they're talking to his AI assistant, they're talking about how like you know smart she is and all that, and she was like, "Well, so you, since you were able to you know do all this stuff, there's the debate on whether or not AI are going to take over and whether they're better than humans." And like she gives this like weird like volley girl laugh to like, "Oh, don't be silly. Humans will always be better than us AI." No. And they were like, well, why do you say that? He was like, well, because you have souls. And like the look on her face, the smile, it's like, yo, you're going to murder a bunch of people, aren't you? 
that's the only way to know how to make a soul. Um, but yeah, you are better than you have souls. It's like that. Don't know. No, like you know. So it's gonna be interesting to see the murder bot. I mean, the small snippet that I play. I won't say anything because I know you don't want to take anything out yeah, of the story. So but. That's the the only reason I have not been. Uh, for those that are wondering, the reason I did not personally play it was um, what? it seems as though really it is like a level pulled directly from a game. David Cage games tend to not have, like they have some replayability, but not yeah, I, an overwhelming amount. Well, and that's the thing that I wanted to talk about. That's what I say. I won't talk about the necessary plot. All I can say about the plot that won't break anything is that it definitely the demo does set the tone and the theme of what you're going to be dealing with like the questions that you're going to try to answer and things like that as you go along the story that being said it actually is a much more flexible i remember reading the interview where they said they asked um the devs they kept trying to ask them how many possibilities there were in this game and they honestly were like, at this point of development, we don't know because it's, it's that many. Um, and you kind of get a taste of that in the demo because at the end of the scenario, now he shows you a tree at the end of each scenario. Yeah. And it shows you the different branches and the different places you can go yeah. in the tree. And you only unlock certain things. They won't show you everything that you can unlock. But they'll it'll be there, but it'll have a lock on it, and they'll hide what the information is. And for that, like it, the demo is not that long; like you can do it in fifteen minutes. Yeah. But for that fifteen minutes, it seemed like there was a healthy amount of choices just within that one interaction um, to go through. And I think I unlocked um, sixty something percent of it, as far as like all the choices that I could have made, and. You know, they're more like they kind of lean into like how well you how successful you are. Like during the whole scenario, they kept giving me a meter to tell me, like, what's the probability of me being successful? Um, the funny thing is success doesn't necessarily mean the same ending. Um, yeah. There's one core element, but at the same time, there's many ways you can get to that core element. It's not like you just have one or two choices you yeah. actually do have there's like a lot of different things that you can do that will affect the mood of the situation the dialogue the how everything goes like a lot more than it was in a game like heavy rain okay uh, so yeah it is a lot more impact in, in time seems to have a lot more impact not just with the how quick you press the button but how yeah. long you take to, to do think, certain yeah do the exact the, to complete the whole thing but I remember one of the check marks they put on me. It was like, "Yeah, um, we think you took too much time getting to the end result." I was like, "Oh, damn! I didn't think about that." So I was I'm trying to see. Uh, there's probably yeah, people that speed run the game to get like, "How do you get the highest percentage?" Yeah, as quick as possible. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, it, it actually does lend to a more playability. Like for me, playing Heavy Rain, the only playability factor in my mind was more of. I, I had an obsession with getting everybody through alive just to see like the quote unquote, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like the mass effect thing. Everybody wants to get everybody through a lot, at least as many people alive as possible. As possible. Um, <laughs> through their run. Yeah. It's, uh, but this game, it's not necessarily, it, I don't think it's going to be about getting, I don't think you're going to care as much unless you attach to that character. Um, oh, wow. you're saying you don't care about people black. No, I mean, it, 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 in terms of like, you can accomplish the goals from what I understand without people, major people living, like in um, Beyond Two Souls, which I've never played, but I heard that you can actually finish the game without the main character, which I found weird. Um, yeah, the game was a little bit weird. Shout out to Kadeem Hardison. I loved him. Favorite character from the game. He, the clips that I saw of him, he seemed like he was really good in there. He also they also made his model kind of creepy. Like it's kind of just weird when he does like the little smile thing. It's just it looks kind of unnatural, but that's the video game in David Cage. There's always this level of creepiness. Yeah, that's why I'm curious to see how um Jesse Williams comes out in this game. David Cage just you, you manage it, David. You just manage to make it weird. 
No, no, this game is gonna fuck with people. I think like from what I played and like the interactions that you had with some of the people in the game and just in the demo alone, I feel like this game's gonna fuck with people, but not in the like usual creepy David Cage way. I think it's gonna like fuck with you on a like we can need to have a conversation about this type way. Um so this I mean it may if it if everything falls into play, this may end up being his best game. Wow. Go yeah. like that. Yeah. I also find it weird that the two games that people don't like the most are the two games where you're just a solo protagonist. Whereas with Heavy Rain, you had multiple protagonists and people love that game. I feel like this is probably gonna go down the same road, like since you have multiple people. It'll probably be a better to a lot of people, a lot of different people um, that were offended by Beyond Two Soul. Ah, so. uh, we'll see. But no, I, it definitely does. Like, it piqued my interest. Um, That's good enough. That's good enough. Like, I I like David Cage games because they yeah. they end up being. You can't really predict. You can predict like ninety percent of it, and then there's this ten percent of insanity. That's there. That's just always fun to deal with. Yeah. Um, another reason, though, why it's going to pique my interest is because I had actually pre-ordered it on Amazon just in case I wanted mm-hmm. to get it so I can get it for the $50. And I forgot that I pre-ordered it. So today, Amazon sent me a message like, hey, your game has been paid for. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm playing Detroit. <laughs> You're going to play today. Yeah, I was like, and yeah, stuck with this now. How do you feel about that? What? You like you like Amazon just taking your money? Well, considering I'm not paying full price for the game, because Amazon only okay. takes twenty percent off every twenty. That's another great thing about Amazon Prime. See, this is why Lord Jesus. Stop. Stop. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get that goddamn like Stop. promo. I'm, try- I'm trying to get some residuals, sir. But no, mm-hmm. if you pre-order games on Amazon, um, you get release day shipping if you have Prime. You also mm-hmm. get twenty percent off every game. Twenty percent off, and you don't have to actually pre-order it. You could actually, as long as you order the game within the first twelve days of its release, you still get twenty percent off. Twelve days? Wow! Tell me, all right, I'm gonna stop. I can't. Hey, it's amazing. You I should can't, do it. I can't and do you it. get Twitch Prime, which you can use to sub to my boy Eurostrix for uh, free. I'll take that one. No money out your pocket, but you help support his channel. So I'll take that go one. Twitch TV slash Eurostrix. If you have Amazon Prime, link your. Twitch account to your Amazon. Prime. Step to my boy. It's not costing you anything. You've already paid for the membership for Amazon Prime. You help support a great streamer. Boom. There you go. Right, I'll take it. Getting that Amazon money, even though Amazon already owns Twitch. All right, give him those Bezo bucks. Huh? Bezo bucks. I'm not gonna ask. Jeff Bezos. It's called Bezo bucks. Uh, yeah. It's his money. God damn it. Yeah. I'm confused. He's your boss. Just accept it. <laughs> anyway. So. Oh, no, I'm, I'm talking to my brother. Sorry. No problem. I was like waiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. I mean, we can, I guess, roll into the final topic. All right, so final topic, um, and I forget this gentleman's name. Uh, but let's look him up really quick. It's not uh, Cass Harai or Fake Cass Harai, who's awesome. Wow. No, the Cass- Fake Cass Harai um, account is just... Oh, no, awesome. y'all, y'all, need to, y'all need to fuck him up because they, okay. they do some rude shit in this topic. I like that. Let me find this article. Oh my god, my computer some suddenly wants to move extremely so. I'm trying to pull it up too. Ah, technical difficulty. Technical difficulties. The man's name in question is. God, this page is loading slow. Okay, I think I found it. John Kadura said the PS4 is entering the final phase of its life cycle. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so people are losing their shit over this because he made mention of that. And then today, I believe, he came out and said, yeah, um, 
within the next three years it'll be uh, so yeah like this sort of confirms a few things uh probably a 2020 to 2021 playstation 5 launch so we're probably getting another console at that point um but beyond that um what this really comes down to is they're in they're gonna be out of the phase where they're trying to remember what it is how do you how do you phrase this they're just trying to they're just making money off the console at this point it's not they're still trying to make things develop it push it farther we'll still probably get a playstation 4 pro slim that's way too many names that's way too many names um i don't think we're gonna get a slim i i think like i think we've got a price drop but i don't think we're gonna get slim I only think we're gonna get a slim and a. I think we get a slim at a price drop. I mean, they don't need another console design. I think they're gonna phase out the ori- like the original PlayStation Four design, and just have pros only, and drop the pros price down, and just say if you want one, get a pro. And that'll convince the people like myself who still have their launch PS Fours to probably go trade that thing in and get a. I wish I still had my launch PS Four. Oh, you didn't have to trade it in. You could have just bought. I could just use it for paperweight. Yeah. And plus, I didn't have the cash to just outright Gamer cred. I didn't have the cash. And it was like, if I'm going to, like, in its death, it's like when something dies, you bury it so it can feed the soil and renew life. Gamer gamer cred, Black, though. You got to keep your gamer cred. Um, fuck that. You give me the money and I'll keep my gamer cred. How about how about I how about you have my gamer cred and I keep your real life cred dits your money. Yeah, no. <laughs> um they gave me $175 for a broken piece of junk, and I was able to only spend two hundred dollars and some change for a PS4 Pro. I'm sorry. But some interesting numbers that we got out of this, and he was talking to investors. So please, everybody out there, don't take this too seriously. You're not necessarily, you don't know the full picture, so don't try to like manufacture a detail, a story here. Um, 70 million PS4s were have been sold, um, and there's going to be less opportunity to sell them going forward. Uh, the PlayStation 5 launch date is pretty much speculated to be at a certain point, but he specifically said that uh, the 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 trend of winding down its life cycle will go until uh, the fiscal year of March 2021, um, which is why a lot of people are saying 2020 for the PS5 launch, because uh, the year you launch a console, you're going to be in the red pretty badly. Uh, Sony announced that PlayStation Plus had crossed more than 34.2 million subscribers just over a month ago. Um, and that PlayStation VR is seeing growth. Overall, I think it's it's cool to see like them starting to talk about PlayStation. Like the PlayStation is doing well, but we all kind of knew that everybody that wanted a PlayStation pretty much has one at this point. Like it doesn't surprise me that they're saying like, "Hey, how about we stop worrying about ha- selling hardware or like hard hardware as a priority?" Because we're way past like if you don't have a PlayStation at this point, it came out five years ago. God. Time went fast. Yeah. So I I just kind of look at it as like this is this isn't too big of a deal. People no. don't it does not mean that the PS5 is coming this year. It would be cool if they teased it this year and just be like, this is what we're shooting for. And then not mention it, but people would lose their minds. Like, where's the PlayStation 5? No, don't say anything. I mean, I wish I kind of wish he didn't say anything. Cause it in the like speculative internet era, it's just like it's something I don't need to but deal with. Black, it'll be fully VR. I, yeah, I don't need to deal with these videos that are coming out now on this shit. Seriously, like it's one thing for us to sit here. And just talk about it because it's a news story. And give our opinion. There will literally be people like that will take like any clip at E3 and analyze and be like, if you look, the texture quality here is higher than the PlayStation 4 Pro can currently perform. They're currently testing this on the PlayStation 5 prototype. Exactly. Therefore, therefore, we're getting the console next year. 
And it's like, yo, I don't need that. <laughs> like, no. no, this is this it's too much. Y'all fucking like God. like relax. It's okay. Yeah, but that's the age of trying to be the first to drop the new story. Yeah, because a couple of things. Um, one, this is natural. This is around the time that this usually happens. Um, two, I'm gonna need some of y'all who are upset at this talking about, well, I just got the money to get a PlayStation uh, four and blah blah blah. That's Stop lying because if you if you really wanted one, you would have got it back. That's eighty me. bucks a year. Yeah. That's one game and a piece of DLC, maybe a year. So, yeah, are you people is, playing 2K? Stop buying V Bucks. I mean, whatever it is called. What's it called? 2K? I don't know. VC. So, it's a V something. Yeah, virtual. VC. Virtual currency. Virtual Bucks. I don't know. Stop buying Fortnite $20 skins. Nah, but uh, overall, like. But no, it, it's like, you know. For all you who complained about how long this cycle 360 was and the PS3 was, why are you upset now? We're back to the five year or so cycle ish. Where we and it's not even going to be a five year cycle. It's going to be seven years because I don't think this thing is going to come out for at least oh, two to. It's so. I'm I'm saying 2020. Like 2020 is a very like nice number to say we get a new console on. And I, I, I honestly think it's going to be 21, but. Or at least I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be announced by twenty twenty. But I don't. Think oh yeah, I mean, you definitely announced. I don't know if it, it might not release. It'll. I think end of the year twenty twenty it'll be released. Yeah, because now that they have PSX, I feel like that's the place where they're gonna announce that they're not gonna do E three. I think. I wonder how different E three will be in two years. Uh, yeah, because E3's... but they're not allowed to release the PS five PlayStation five until they release Kingdom Hearts four. I will actually like fight Sony if I buy, have to buy a third Kingdom console. Hearts four, three. Okay, I was gonna say. I got well, no, confused. I was thinking. I of think Kingdom. Four. And this is funny because a lot of people keep saying like, "Well, Death Strand is not going to be a PS4 game." Like, yeah, it is going to be a PS4 game. Um, Kingdom Hearts, Death Stranding, Last of Us Two are all coming out within the next year or two. So I wouldn't even worry about that. Um, if they don't, I bought two consoles waiting for that damn game. I'm gonna need you to like put it nah, out. So honestly, you're gonna like hear. I, I seriously think like, and see, I don't want to get into pre- too many predictions because I feel like we should do a prediction show um, we next might, week. We might probably entire video, you know, just dedicated. Huh? We're just gonna have to go through con- uh, like conference by conference. But no, conference. like just the early prediction. I feel like you're gonna hear that sometime in November, Kingdom Hearts Three will be arriving. I don't seriously. think November. Well, yeah, I would love it. November. It's gonna be a November game. I I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, that works. Nah. <laughs> All right, nah. you see. When you when you're shedding tears of joy, just remember me. Because what Kingdom moment. Hearts, the last few remixes have been December and middle of December and Jan- into January. It's gonna be November. Uh I wonder if they'll knock it back until early. November's a dead zone right now. There's nothing in November. Mm, um, and it'll be a perfect like holiday game. Yeah. Because what's we'll coming see. out in November? Mm-hmm. I think the only thing that may rival it is Rage Two. I think that's when Maybe. that's gonna come out. <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff that ha- doesn't have release dates yet that could very easily. No, but it's like okay, out of the things that we think that are gonna come out in 2018, what else is gonna contend in November? Uh, Monster Hunter World on well, that's PC. Let me stop. Um, hmm, I'm looking at the list right now. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to read through this kind of quickly because the majority of the heavy hitters are coming September and October. Crackdown 3. Okay, so again, what is going to compete with <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3? I think you were going to say that. No, Let's because toss that. The, I Let's think toss that has killed itself in the fact that I'm law Destiny's new, no, that's September. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I'll be fine. I don't gotta play Rainbow S- or uh, Red Dead. I got Destiny DLC. Get out of my face. Yeah, you got Destiny DLC. You got Spider Man. Um, Spider Man. And you got Tomb Raider in September. Uh, games that I'm interested in, but I don't know if they're gonna be. <laughs> it's hard for me to put a a, a Telltale game above <laughs> Keaton Hearts Three. It is. I can see. Okay, I can see kind of November. Soul Calibur Six, but I think that's gonna come out more mid of the year. 
middle to early like fall ish surprising amount of stuff way more stuff than i thought has been pushed back you know what's gonna stop kingdom hearts three black what the kingdom hearts Fortnite crossover event in november there is such a thing probably i Although I would think that was would do that's as epic as straight like up. shitting straight on everybody. Capitalized on crossovers. I mean, they capitalized on <laughs> uh, fucking Thanos, and now they got Killmonger. It's like, yeah, y'all just shitting on everybody with all these things. Y'all are just eating up licenses. You got all these celebrities playing. Like <laughs> they really pushed so much stuff back to next year already. God damn. Yeah. No, I. Oh, don't. whatever's co- whatever's coming out of um. Whatever's coming out of, I think we'll see some stuff at E3 that'll that'll pop in November. There's gonna be a couple games that I think pop in November. I would say, like, for me, a game that could potentially grab some of its attention, but I don't think it would. Because mm-hmm. I honestly think this, like, I really think that people like you outweigh the people who would be waiting for this game, and that is Beyond Good and Evil Two. <laughs> Because that is the nah. only other game that I know that's like, there is a religious cult like desire to see this see, game. Here's my thing. That being said, I don't think it's probably. It's here's my thing. Be Beyond Good and Evil, you can call a. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, you give, you give cult like status to, right? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts is a full blown religion. Like, it's one of those games that's talked about so much that. But see, that's the thing. I mean, you're that's talking about. I- like the games have now been re- every single one of the games has been released a minimum now of three times. You can play them on their original platforms, the PlayStation Three or the PlayStation Four. The game is also coming to Xbox, and the the first game came out the same amount of time as uh, Beyond Good and Evil. The first the when the first Beyond Good and Evil came out, Kingdom Hearts Three has legit been like a cultural phenomenon at this point in terms of gaming. Gaming culture, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That's why, like, yeah, the only reason I put Beyond up there because, like you say, it has a cult like following, but yeah, no, Kingdom Hearts is a fucking way of life for y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the, the, again, that's the perfect time because there's nothing that's coming after that will, will beat it. Just make it like mid November, that'll mm-hmm. give you a few weeks after Red Dead. So the hype of that will be calmed down. And like the euphoria of Kingdom Hearts finally being here will be at a crescendo. Um, it's a perfect timing for all the consoles because that'll drive console sales for the holidays. So there'll be a bunch of people who probably don't have one that will probably buy one just to like relive that experience. Um, no, November would be fucking mid November would be picture perfect. If Square Enix were smart, I would drop that thing like whatever the second week of second or third week of November was, right before Black Friday, and cash in. Don't do that. Because there's nothing that's going to come out in that that time period. Once we get past the like October, early November shooter blitz of Call of Duty, and don't do um, that. Just, just send me the game, and and we can talk about a date. All right, I, I, I'll even I will I will I'm so sure that this game is going to come out in November that I'll put it out here now. If it does not come out in November, I will pre-order the copy myself for you. And take, <laughs> hey, that's I will fine. buy it for you. That'll be that means I can have a copy that I can open and a copy that I don't. Yeah. I'm buying a collector's edition of that game. That game will cost oh, no, me. Good. You can I spent 300 edition. bucks. You can get the collector's edition. I'll buy you the digital version so you can play that and you can hey. keep the collector's edition sealed. Hey. Yeah, you can keep it sealed. All right, so play, don't, uh, again, the rule is don't come out in November. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm going to laugh. Yo, Black, you know what the best thing would be? If they were like, it comes out December, like, December 1st. 1st. I would laugh too because I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I told him. I told him. Wait, hold on. Let me see. What is the first Tuesday in December? Oh, oh shit! December fourth. December fourth is the first you know, Tuesday. You know this. You know what's funny? Hmm? It will be December first. You know why I say it'll be December first. Well, no, it won't because that's a Saturday. Is that a Saturday or a it's Friday? A Saturday. It's a Saturday. Okay, so they will be December seventh. Go on a Friday. I would bet my money that that would be the day too. It'd be December seventh. 
So yeah, okay. Yeah. Because games now do a lot of Friday things. So yeah. Nice. Big yeah, super big games they're trying to be unique. But I think that's all of the news. Yeah, well, all of the like news worth mentioning. Right wow. Now. Um, no, because this is there's always like something going on in the game sphere uh, these days. Somebody's always making an announcement about oh, something. Him? Somebody's always delaying a game. Oh wait, you saw y'all think I'm I'm like I'm happy to make this bet because oh, it means that hopefully I'm wrong and we actually see King of March three this year. I'm still I part of yeah, it's a win for you because it's like part of me either. feels like early next year. I still think early next year. Like we'll get it like. Early next year, and that would be so hurtful. But I hope we get it now. No, nah, it's coming this year. You got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be you for it, but we'll see. We'll have more E3 predictions for you. Trust me. Next Trust week. me. Yeah, I guess we should do it next week. That'll give two weeks to linger. Or should we do it the week before? Shit. I, don't know. I mean, remember it's the, that it'll be two days before, or three uh-huh. days before. It'll be three days before. Yeah. Because the first conference is, yeah, that's Sunday. Well, that's Saturday. That's yeah. Saturday. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's actually a week. If we do it in a week, then the first conference will be that Saturday, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have to do it next week. <laughs> yeah, we do because of waiting. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right. So next week we will get all our predictions. You already got one of my predictions on the board. Um, but I think it's beyond that because like I can. I think every single conference has two to three games that are going to come out that are going to be pretty heavy hitters. Oh, uh, there is a stereo. Or like announcements. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's, they're going to be some stuff dropped before. Yeah. That's the problem. Next week, they're going to be dropping a bunch of shit. Dude. God damn it. It's time of the year. I love it. <sighs> All right. So you say that until you realize what your wallet going to be looking like. It's fine. I've already prepared myself. I mean, shit. I already got one hundred and twenty five dollars on the board. Because yes, I did get the special edition of Spider Man with that damn statue. Shut up. I'm not gonna say shit to you. you I want that Peter Parker. I want that statue. What? What you mean? I'm not gonna say shit to you. Yeah, you just said you were really really acting like people really acting like if they don't if they they drop a kingdom hearts like 300 it the only way i get a playstation 4 pro is if they drop which means i'm gonna need to save like 400 bucks uh is if they drop a kingdom hearts yeah, trade in that fucking like launch day console nah, hold on to that at low key i don't have a 4k tv so there's no reason for me to you don't need it, dude. I need to tell you about super sampling. Oh I know about God. super sampling. I don't care. Dude, no, I, I want really 4K. Don't. No, I want the 4K. Black, you gotta understand. Give me an excuse um, to buy you, 4K. You can get a TV like me because I told you how much this TV was. So. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, black. It gives oh, me an excuse to buy more technology. All right, then get the five hundred dollar TV like I got. This is amazing. Right. Tell you, go look at my review. Got you. <laughs> But where would I watch that review? On the Black Megas on YouTube. Okay. Go to youtube.com slash the Black (laughs) Megas. All right. Yes, I'm a shill. No, you guys just don't. No, I I set I set that up. I just was like, hey. I'm a shill. Don't don't hate me. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a I guess you just made another prediction because I just thought about they are gonna announce a three hundred dollar King of Hearts and it's gonna have a oh, statue. Oh yeah. It's gonna have yeah. not only that, it's gonna have yeah. a statue of like the main protagonist. It's gonna have Sora gonna have with Star- Heartless and all that. It's gonna have a Star Wars mm-hmm. character, it's gonna have a Marvel Universe character, and it's gonna have a mainline Disney character as well. And a Pixar character. Actually, it's gonna have him and four people from Pixar, Disney proper. Nah, it's, Marvel it's going and have, Star Wars. It's going to have Ray. It's going to Ray from like Star Wars. It's going I still to don't have, want Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts. I still don't want Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts unless it's like the racing league. You're going to get this work. It's going to be her. It's like BB12 is going to be yeah, PB8. I'm sorry, it's going to be in there. I can see him being a summon. Just don't make him. Yeah. No, he's going to be like a sidekick for a while. Okay. You're gonna have, yeah, you're yeah. gonna roll with BB-8. We're no, good. the summit should be Chewy. Have Chewy come through and like rip everything, Chris. Right. We're good. Let's let's stop talking about Kingdom Hearts. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. 
Uh, and then you're gonna get um, what's his name, emo dude, Riku. Um, no. Uh, oh wait, you're a cold. Adam Driver's character. All of a sudden, the name went blank to me. Emo dude. Yeah, Adam Driver's character. He's emo. Adam Driver Squall. No. Uh, shit. I'm horrible with names. The leader of the uh. What's his name? Oh, you mean Kylo Ren? Hell no. Kylo you Ren, keep yeah. the fuck Evo out of the Man. Game. Evo Goon. He's going to be the fuck out of the game. Yeah, Kylo is going to be there. I'm Kylo horrible with you. Yeah, Kylo. I don't know why I forgot Kylo Ren, but yeah, Kylo's going to be in there. Let's go. You know, and Kylo, they're going to have Ray. They got Chewie. Um, they're going to have BB-8. No, 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 no. I was laughing at No, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're going to be rescued by um uh, what's his name? All right, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to <laughs> Whatever you know, you're gonna love it, and then you're gonna like be able to do combos with Captain America and the Shield. No. <laughs> anyway, it'll be all right. Trust me. But yes, I'm looking at this Kingdom Hearts thing right now. Yeah, you're gonna get that nice statue with all these people. Oh, I should yeah. play a Kingdom Heart game just to see. I would wreck all right. So a hundred percent as a non. You have a PlayStation Four Pro, right? Yeah, it's like they have get, one point five and get the one point get the one point five and two point five collection. If you want something closer to Kingdom Hearts three, you would want two point eight, but that's a hard sell because that's like a two to three hour. I just want to see like what this whole thing is about. Well, like, we actually Kingdom get a release date for Kingdom Hearts. I do plan to actually sit down and play through eighty percent of the game. There's a couple of games I'm just not playing because it's. I care about my soul. Some of those like Game Boy Advance games turned into PlayStation games are not. Nah, we're hey, good. I see the 1.5 remix, and then I see there should be 1.5, 2.5 as a collect. Yeah, like that's collect. the other, and then I see the two. And it should only be like 45 bucks. No, it's actually 30. Yeah, yeah, it's mat like, and you said 1.5 and 2.5, right? Mm-hmm. So in reality, that is four games, two movies, I believe. Oh, what the fuck? Movies, huh? Uh, for some of the handheld games. The fuck? Rather than making you play through the handheld games. See, this is why I never got into it. There's it confuses a, me. I, like when they started coming out with these there's things, a there's a made. there's a well there's one's a cell phone game that they turned into a movie, and then one is what's the other one? One is a Game Boy, no, a DS game that turned into a movie. But yeah, uh, there were Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts, uh, what was the other one that's there? What's in the first collection? One, Chain of Memories, and... Wait, this thing of... says it's six games on one day. 150 hours. What the fuck? I'm trying to tell you, yo, it's, it's amazing. The hell is this? So like a hundred percent black. As somebody that's played through the games, I replayed through the first one on the hardest difficulty, and I legit put like twenty five hours in twenty five thirty, and that's not doing very much. Okay, yeah, like uh, all right. Let me see, home. What are, what's in each one? I don't remember what's in each one. Yeah, all right. So it says six games, right? Well, if you read it really quickly, black. So you see three five eight over two days and recoded are HD remastered cinematics. So they're they're like two oh, hours. It is. They're like. Hard. 1.5 remix, the 2.5 remix includes Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, so Kingdom that's the Hearts Japanese version. Three Chain of Memory. That's a Game Boy game. You can skip that. 100%. Kingdom Hearts 358 slash two days. 358 over two days. And that's eight, That's a set of cinematics. And that's like two to three hours of cinematics. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts Birth by, by Sleep. Sleep. Final Mix. Final Mix. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. That was originally a cell phone game that they did oh, turned into cinema. Oh, he's a... yeah. um, so what I would say is if you were looking for it, Kingdom Hearts they're Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and Birth by Sleep not, are three not, the three not, that you definitely want to play. They don't get, they don't um, then there's another game in the 2.8 collection, but like... technically, if you really want to know what's going on in three, you really do need all nine games or whatever or nine Wait, not, what because the two point there's two point eight 
Yeah, two point eight. Okay, let's pull up to two point eight now. And, and there's uh, there are Wait, there's three, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance Kingdom Hearts. That was a three DS. So black Dream Drop Distance three Ds Kingdom Hearts three D. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. All right, next Kingdom Hearts X. That is the smartphone game turned into cutscenes. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. That is, that is, yeah, okay. First of all, stupidest name ever. Uh, that, <laughs> that's like, that's way too long. Cause like the name of this technically is Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. You don't, all right, cool. But yes, Kingdom Hearts uh, 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage, is a kind of an interquill that connects. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which is chronologically the first game to the most modern game and why it matters and it connects all the story back together. And Kingdom Hearts, the X is actually key, by the way. Okay. Um, is there any place I can watch this? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, do you actually want, like, if you want to know the story, there are a couple of YouTube videos I can recommend. Do you like longer short format videos? <sighs> Or do you go short? Because I feel like I'm not the, whatever the best short for. Do you want the because the best one I know is kind of long, but it's kind of long. Um, let me see what's his video. What is his video? What is what is uh, it's I think it's Mother's Basement that made it right. Oh no, best guy ever. Uh, it is three hours. <laughs> to explain the story of, the, of all the games, <laughs> like all right. Um, but if you Google it, otherwise you can get some timeline stuff from like game trailers. Which game trailers thing is an hour. Some people have done it in under twenty minutes, thirty minutes. You know, it varies in level of detail. Huh. Um, but yeah, if you actually just somebody says there's if if you really just want to play. I would say play one of those nine games. The ones, if I had to pick, I would say four because uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, if you want to know how the series got started, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep are also really good. Uh, and then Kingdom Hearts Point 2 because that's the closest to what Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be like. <laughs> if you want to play on it. Then again, for anybody out there, you're getting six games and three movies and way too much content for 60 bucks if you were to buy both collections. Yeah, that is a lot of stuff. So you're basically paying about $10 a game with movies included. That's crazy. That is that much. <laughs> All right. Huh. The issue with the the issue with the, the the last one is like point 2 is like 2 to 3 hours. Because it's just basically kind of like a t it's a small little uh, prologue story that kind of connects and it's kind of short. What did it come out as a separate game, full no. game, or just? That's why a lot of people when I when this first came out, I played it, and I hundred percent was like, if you don't care about Kingdom Hearts story, I cannot tell anybody to like buy it for this because it's definitely like three hours of gameplay and cutscenes combined. That uh, and it's mostly gameplay that just adds to the, to the story. Hmm. If you were going to do something, you could buy the one collection and then watch the other stuff online. Or probably be faster to read about it. That would just be just equally as fast. As... Um, but to give you some highlights of the story, oh Black, um, Light, Darkness, Friends, Heart, uh, Nobodies, Time Travel, uh, Time Travel Plots, uh, the destruction of souls, prophecy. There's a whole bunch of weird things in this story. Disney characters, Final Fantasy characters, original characters. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Donald and Goofy went to Tron's world? What if Cloud? Oh, Sephiroth is like in every game, and you can fight him. I mean, it's a weird series. Wait, Tron is in the game? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, yes. And That's everything funny. after Kingdom Hearts 2. You go, to, you, go, you go to Tron's world. Mm -hmm. So you really don't think they're going to put Star Wars in there? Yeah. Oh, I. it's not that I don't think. It's that I don't want them to. 
it's one thing that people have always said, like, I don't want to see King Keyblades run up against lightsabers. Even though if if I were to show you a picture, you would be like, but that's just a lightsaber without a hilt. I wouldn't think they would have him fight a Jedi. That's why I say, I, I mean, I say Ray, like, but I don't think they put Ray or Kylo. I think they would put, like, they say BB 8, um, uh, maybe Finn, maybe, uh, what's the name of the pilot? Um, yeah, so if, if they did put any Jedi in it, it I would mean, like, be. one of the people uses. It's always been the joke that he uses lightsabers as a weapon. Well, I have him go toe to toe with Kylo. Here, I got you, Black. Holy shit! Why not? Nah. Did it. He can defeat him by telling him that his mother is disappointed in him. No, he just like breaks down and uh, cries. Calm down, sir. No, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's <laughs> I mean, calm, calm all the no, fucking no, no, way no, no, down. No, no. I mean, he has parent issues. All right, all right, I'm good. I will not stand by this slander. Why did Uncle Luke love me as much as he loved you? I'm done with the slander. I would like to leave now. No, no, no. I'm lumping in the terms. I'm I'm talking about. That's it. Oh my god! If they do that, I will laugh my ass off. It's gonna be. That's because I, I can so. imagine the look on your face when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, would you at least be happy to put Marvel people in there? No, I I don't. One of my things I don't like. What is it? They did Pirates of the Caribbean, and it's a really weird looking level. Anything what if you get that to go to Asgard? what? You get to go to Asgard. I don't need anything that has kind of realistic people. Then you want to be with Mjolnir? You don't want to have you want you don't want Thor to give you Mjolnir to play with. He won't. It's broken. It's a game. They can set it in whatever. Part. Nope. Nope. Yeah. They always do current. Oh. Oh, then maybe you get Stormbreaker. I uh, maybe we would actually know how to aim. So you never know. <laughs> His aim was fine. His logic, his aim was, his aim was not fine. It was fine because he just, he just don't. He's, you gloat. He's, he's a right. lunkhead. Nah. Okay, he doesn't gloat, think. Gloat after, gloat after, not before. He's a lunkhead. Okay, he wasn't thinking. Uh, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts also released some new footage, Black. So uh, people got to actually play test it. So if you are interested in what it will look like. You can look that up and check it out. All right, I'll look for that. Um, I'm very excited to see the hype behind this shit. <laughs> what what Square shows it coming E3? I can only imagine. Like, uh, anyway. All right, all right. So that's it for the show. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I got some payback because now I was able to torment him like he torments me. Uh, so all the things are back to being balanced. No, things are balanced the force. You're supposed to bring balance to the force, Black Mangus. Whatever, Kylo will do that in the Kingdom Hearts. Trust you me. really are Anakin Skywalker, down. I mean, hey, yeah, he had his cool moments. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Appreciate it. Um, be ready for the predictions. Because that's going to be some wild shit, y'all. Because um, I already have a couple of things in mind that y'all are probably going to be like, wow, really? This dude thinks that's going to happen? Yes, I do think it's going to happen in advance. But anyway. They're bringing you- back the the virtual boy. Um, Actually, yeah. Nintendo probably will have a vir- some type okay. of virtual device. Okay. But anyway, I know I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I don't no, really- no, no. I, don't, I just seriously You're don't canceled. think. That You're canceled, gonna- sir. I don't think they're going to go that far. <laughs> You're canceled, sir. No. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, any party words you have to say before we go? No. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. So be back next week for the predictions. Thanks again, and we'll holler at you later. Peace. Peace.